Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing very well. Here in this session, we are going to discuss about the limitations of research. Yes, there are various limitations like sampling bias, measurement bias, co-founding variables, time and resource constraints, ethical constraints, human errors, and subjectivity. So let's discuss about them one by one. So let's start from sampling bias. Definitely, it may happen many times that the research study conducted may have sample bias. The, the samples that is collected would be biased. If we are going to take an example, then the most popular and easily understandable example is like, uh, we can take that like presidential election voter, right? So let's say presidential election voters. What happens that if you are going to poll 1,000 upper class blue collar voters, then sample will be heavily biased. If you are going to collect the data of 1000 middle class blue collar voters, then sample will be heavily biased because, the, because it is not uh, be that much diverse enough to paint the whole picture, isn't it? It is going to leave out multiple demographics. There are necessary, right? So basically the thing is that uh, uh, the sampling uh, error may be there many times. Many times sampling error may be there. If we talk about the uh, literacy rates, right? So if you are doing any literacy survey, let's say if we talk about the example of India, then if we are taking the samples of uh, Kerala or if we are taking the samples of Karnataka, then it may create some bias on the comparison if we take the same output same predictions for Bihar or UP. So there might be sampling bias. It depends problem to problem, but this is the thing, right? Second one is measurement bias. Measurement means that let's say if you are weighting something and it is having a difference of let's say 100 gram, then actual value, it might be let's say 1000 gram, but due to this 100 gram error, or you can say that 100 gram bias, it may generate error. So actual weight, or you can say that the actual weight is 1000, but output would like like 1100 gram. So because of such kind of measurement bias due to, uh, it may be due to device errors. It may be due to any kind of error. It may be in temperature sensing devices, everywhere we can take that. So measurement bias can be there. If we talk about, confounding variables. So basically confounding variables, you can collect data on sunburns, let's say, and ice cream. And you find that the higher ice cream consumption, higher ice cream consumptions are leading to higher sunburns. So on that collected data, can we generate that ice cream consumption leads to sunburns? Isn't it? So basically thing is that thing is that there is something probabilistic associativity of the variables but that may create some kind of limitations that need not be necessary right isn't it right if we talk about time and resource constraints then you know that in each research study, we are bounded with time limitations as well as resource limitations. So if we are doing our research, let's say on some vaccines, then the scope or the limitation of that, that particular research is, you can say that it is limited. The scope of that research is limited. Why it is so due to time constraint on that research? Because it does not necessary that the impact of that medicine or the vaccines that is seen as of now, it may differ after some years, maybe two years, three years, four years. So it does not necessary only in the particular medical field, but maybe in business and everywhere. So each research study is bounded with time and resource constraints. And due to that, it is a limitation. As well as research studies also, you can say that it, it, is, a, it is a limitation that we, we need to do our research studies 
by following ethical constraints and due to that some limitations might be there. Obviously, research study involves humans and researchers and there might be chances of some human error. And subjectivity, definitely, research involves interpretation and subjective judgments, right? Research definitely involves subjective judgments because it does not necessary that particular one researcher's perception you can understand properly because particular researcher's perception is unique property of that particular researcher. It does not need that we can understand the exact 100% perception of that researcher. So subjective judgment is there, which can lead to different interpretation of the same data, isn't it? Because subjectivity is person's own uniqueness. Subjectivity is nothing but particular any person's, it is own uniqueness, which influence their perceptions and does not necessary, it is 100% not necessary that let's say researcher one is there, researcher two is there. So whatever researcher one is percepting on particular topic, researcher two does not guarantee understand exactly 100% idea of researcher one. So subjectivity lead to the interpretation of same data differently. That is a limitation. For example, let's say if a person is having six sisters, Right. So this person's particular, uh, you can say that the view on women or on uh, families can be different because it's part of their subjectivity. Right. The particular perception need not be equal to the other person. So subjectivity leads to the limitations. So there might be many more limitations may be possible, but as of now, I hope you understood what are various limitations of research. Sampling bias, definitely the data that we have collected may have sampling bias. Definitely the devices, tools, or the any measurement devices which we are using may have some kind of errors due to which measurement bias can be there. There might be some probabilistic coincidences between the variables. So it does not need that the variables are depending on each other. So that is called as confounding variables that also create the limitations. Time and resource constraints are also a limitation, you know. Ethical constraints and human error definitely they lead some limitations in the research and subjectivity. If you know some more about the limitations of research, then I request you that please do comment in the comment section. It will definitely lead to each and every one's increasing in the knowledge and definitely it is going to help each and everyone who is very much interested in the research. So please show your ideas. It will definitely help towards the betterment of humanity. Please do comment your idea on the limitations of research. Put your suggestions. And guys, please do subscribe and like this video. As you know, it is definitely going to help us for creating such more unique and important lectures for the research. Thank you so much. Have a very nice day. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.